today's quick tips video is actually for beginners and more specifically Mega Minx beginners. We're going to be talking about how to properly scramble a Mega Minx using WCA notation. So first off, you got your Mega Minx here, 12 faces, and you don't have a letter for each face like you do on the standard 3x3 and the notation has R's, D's, U's with minuses and pluses. So first off, let's take a look and see what the regulations say about scrambling a Mega Minx. So in the regulations, rule number 4D1 talks about scrambling a Mega Minx and the orientation you have to use. What you do is you put the white face on top or the lightest face if there's not a white face. For example, if someone uses like a white Mega Minx and they use a black face, you'll put the lightest color on top and then you put green in front. Now if there isn't a green side due to like a weird sticker scheme or just something different, you put the darkest face in front. So it is flexible and it allows for other color schemes if you don't have the standard color scheme on your Mega Minx. So what you do is you hold the Mega Minx like this and now you'll want to hold these two pieces right here. So what you do in order to scramble a Mega Minx is, like I said, you hold this bar right here and you're gonna be doing one of two moves. So this is R plus, as you can see, it's like a double layer move. You're holding this and turning this R plus. This is R minus. R plus plus is just two moves. R minus minus is two moves. So plus is clockwise, minus is counterclockwise. So you've got R plus R minus, and then you have D plus and D minus. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. The only other moves are U and U prime. So let's do this first part of the scramble together and see if we can get through it here. It starts off with R plus plus, D plus plus, R plus plus, D plus plus, R plus plus, D minus minus, which means counterclockwise, R minus minus, counterclockwise, and then you continue just like that. And then the last move is a U prime and that finishes off that part of the scramble. So just using those three basic moves along with their inverses, you can get a really scrambled Mega Minx and that's how you'll do it if you ever scramble at a competition or just at home if you're practicing. But I hope this helped you guys out. I know it did if you're beginners. If you're more advanced, it was probably a little bit boring, so sorry about that. But I hope you learned something and if you did, give it a thumbs up. You'll hear from me really soon guys and thanks for watching. Later.